Welcome to Man Friday's Mesh Grabber, a new plugin for DAS Studio 4.12 and above. For the first time, this plugin introduces actual 3D modeling features to DAS Studio without requiring external software like Hexagon or Blender or ZBrush. You can change the mesh of any object with geometry right in DAS Studio. The possibilities for this are manifold. Here's just four examples. You can quickly fix collision problems between meshes, like clothing poke through without having to test lots of morphs to see which one might fix it. You can quickly fix some details in the mesh of your human DAS Studio figures. Give your favorite character elf ears. You can quickly make your own terrain from a primitive plane. You can improve your favorite environment product in a way that the original author did not foresee. Make a castle tower a little bit higher. Working with the Mesh Grabber involves the following steps. First, activate the Mesh Grabber tool from the Tools menu. Select an object with geometry in the scene tree, for example, this plane primitive. Within that object, select geometry with the mouse. Mesh Grabber supports face, edge and vertex selection. You can swipe with the mouse to select more than one item or hold down the control key while selecting to add items to the selection. Or hold down the alt key while selecting to remove items from the selection. This works just like the DAS Studio Geometry Editor. Once you're happy with the selection, grab one of the six active handles of the Mesh Grabber Gizmo, which looks and works just like DAS Studio Universal Tool. The mesh you have selected moves. The sphere around the gizmo indicates how much of the geometry surrounding your selection is affected when you drag the gizmo. We call that the fall off radius. Even after you've stopped dragging the geometry with the mouse, you can change the fall off radius. You can make the sphere bigger or smaller. You can change the fall off type, how the fall off is computed. For a more useful example, here's how to make elf ears on a Genesis figure, like in the example on the Mesh Grabber product page in the store. Like in the previous example, first activate the Mesh Grabber tool, then select the figure you want to work on, then select some geometry. In this case, we want the top of the ear to move up, but not the entire head, so we will select a single face. We will now drag the gizmo up a bit to get a first result. We want the ear to be spiky, so we'll use a sharp fall off mode. And we will reduce the fall off radius so that only the top of the ear moves. With a bit of experimenting, you'll soon get the hang of how to adjust these to achieve the desired result. As a third example, here's how to fix this massive case of clothing poke through. Again, first activate the Mesh Grabber tool. Select the object to manipulate. In this case, it's the clothing. This also shows why selecting the correct object first is important. We want to fix the clothing mesh, not the mesh of the figure wearing it. We will even hide the figure now temporarily, so we can better get to the faces on the clothing. We check where the poke through is exactly, so we select those faces that were previously hidden. We will then use Grow Selection to make the selection bigger. We will then increase the fall off radius and drag the gizmo up just a little bit until the poke through is closed.
There we go, fixed. And this is just the beginning of geometry editing in DAS Studio. Man Friday is planning to add more geometry plugins to DAS Studio soon. The Mesh Grabber plugin is available in the DAS Store now.